Louisa, I know you're in there. This is stupid, this is. I've got to go. What's an hour? We missed the coach. So, there'll be another one. Tisa, you go if you want. I can't make you do anything. I'm just saying at least you should talk about it. Half an hour, that's all. It's gone down. It was an hour a minute ago. <laughs> Look, we can find somewhere else to talk. Come on, let's get out of this rain. You're not gone yet. Oh, shit. He's dying around. She's back at the flat, I think. Mark, do us a favour. She's not there. The place is locked. Oh, Mark, have you seen Deezer? No. Oh, well, she can have gone far. Where does this cafe live? Number three, bottom flat, up there. Right, I'll try it. Yeah, and I'll send the cab away, because that'll be cocked in the fork. And take the baby inside. It's really coming down at the end now. I hope Jasmine's all right. Oh, don't worry, someone will take her inside. Well, I don't think your mum will look for us in here. What are you going to do now? What difference is a few years going to make? If your stepfather comes back again... But he's not there now. No, but if you do what your mum wants and give him a clean slate, so that's all but a big mistake. Well, he soon will be. But this is a chance for me, Cathy. It's a chance to carry on a normal life. Yeah, but for how long? It doesn't matter how long. I've never had that chance before. Not with me, Mum. I've never had that. <sighs> Ken could be six months to a year before he gets out. And then he'll be back. Well, anything's better than this. No one cares about me, where I go, where I stay. No one. You're wrong, Tisa. A lot of people care. Oh, do me a favour. Yes, they do. How can you say people like M Michelle, Dot and Diane don't care? Even Frank wasn't going to see you on the street. Yeah, but I can't go on forever. I've got to sort it out. If I don't, they'll take Jasmine off me. She's all I really care about, and I don't want to lose her. Which is what you're really worried about, isn't it? Tisa, that's no bad thing. But taking her back to the place where you were abused is not going to stop you losing her, is it? Oh, I suppose it will if you can just sit back and watch it all happen again, because it will. As soon as he comes back on the scene, it's all going to start up again. It's only a year since he raped you. If there's even an outside chance of Ken ending up in the same house as you and the baby, then don't go home. I've no choice. Yes, you have. There is another way. You can tell your mum what's been going on. I can't do that. Why not? I don't think it's going to come as a shock to her, do you? I mean, she's not stupid. She must know what's been going on. She doesn't know. She doesn't know about me and Ken. Well, I promise you, she does. She might not be admitting it to herself, but she does know. She wouldn't believe me. She's never believed anything else I've said. Well, make her believe you. I can't. It's not her fault. And it's not yours. Or Ginny's. It'll all go wrong. I know it will. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I can't say what will happen. I don't know. But I do know that I've watched you grow to love that baby. And I've seen you get over the greatest obstacle faced by any woman who's had a child through rape. And that's who the child's father is. I've seen you do that. Do you say you're braver and stronger than I've ever been, or ever will be? If you can do all that and survive, then you can tell your mum the truth about what he's been doing to you all these years. I think you've got to. Not just for you and Ginny, but for the baby and your mum. It's important she knows. <laughs>